Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the introduction and the background of the ancient Mithila University. Today, we will discuss about the history of ancient Mithila University. As we have discussed in our previous lecture that this university was very famous for its Nyasastra. Nyasastra was founded by Akshpada Gautama. It was later developed by Gangesa Upadhyay. From 12th century to 15th century, it was important center for learning and cultures. In Kameshwar period, Jagadhara was a scholar who wrote commentaries on a variety of subjects such as Gita, Devi Mahatma, Meghaduta, Gita Govinda and Malati Madhava and others as well as wrote original treatises on erotics such as Rasika Sarvasvava, Sangeeta Sarvasvava. Similarly, Ayatsi Mishra, whose original name was Mahamahopadhyay Bhavanath Mishra, was famous scholar of Nyaya Shastri. His son, Sankara Mishra, was another scholar who worked on the Vaisasika, the Nyaya Shastri, and the Asmriti. Similarly, Vasudeva Sarvabhoma, the famous logician of Nadia, he received his education at Mithila in the 15th century. In the 15th century, Raghunatha Shiromani was the head of the university. At that time, this university was also known as Mithila Vidyapit. According to the scholars and historians of Maharaja Dhiraj Lakshmasar Singh Museum and Maitri Sahitya Sansthan, the University of Nalanda and Vikramsila were destroyed by Mughal emperors because these universities were organized at particular places. But to destroy the University of Ancient Mithila was not so easy because it was spread out of many ashramas or gurukula of the different ancient philosophers or sages of the Mithila. So this university remained till the 20th century. According to the famous historian Abul Fazal, during the region of Shah Jahan, Mithila became famous for its scholars, poets, who received rewards from the emperor for their scholarship. In the 16th century, Mithila emerged as the chief center of the both secular and religious learning. Sanskrit scholars from different parts of India came to Mithila to study Hindu philosophy. In the Mughal period, Raghunandan Dasa was an eminent intellectual 
of the university mughal emperor akbar was very influenced by him so he gifted him the entire mithila as a gift but ragunandan dasa later offered it to his guru mahesh thakur as guru dakshina then mahesh thakur established darbhanga raj kingdom on the day of ram navmi in 1557 ad dear friends in the next lecture we will discuss about the examination system educational system and curriculum of the university thank you friends for watching the video